Hey guys, so I know I haven't um, updated in a while. Uh, I think I updated it like 33 weeks or something like that. And um, it's really dark in here. Sorry, it's at nighttime. I'm home alone, so. Um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna let, start where I left off. Of course, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, um, I got highlights. So, I'm not brown headed anymore. And, um, I really don't remember anything that's happened, really. Um, I got my groupie, a groupie, um, strep culture or whatever, and that was negative. Um, I started getting checked for dilation about three weeks ago, and the first one, I was not dilated at all, or faced. Second one, I was not dilated at all, or faced, but the next weekend, um, which was this, this, um, Saturday, me and Jared, I was having contractions all day, Saturday, October 9th, and me and Jared were, um, at his house, and I was having really bad contractions, and then I, me and him, my brother picked us up from his house, and me and him came over to my house, and, um, um, we watched Jersey Shore and stuff, and then, I know this is too much information, but, um, uh, of course, this brings on labor, is sex. We had sex, and after I had, after we did, I, um, went to the bathroom, and I, ble I was bleeding, which I wasn't worried about because I know that's normal to bleed after you have sex. So, um, I told my mom anyways, and she called the doctors and called the hospital on call and um she said bleeding's normal after you have sex and um uh what else she asked if he had stopped moving which he hadn't but i told her she had or he had because i wanted to go to the hospital get checked for dilation sorry so um i went to the hospital and I waited around. It was very, very busy. Every single labor and delivery room was filled. We were in the triage room. There was two other people in there. Actually, during that, two other or one girl had her baby in the triage room, right beside me, and I heard everything. And then the girl across from me, her water broke, and she wanted. She was. Ha she was like really having contractions. She wanted epidural, but they can't give you an epidural in the triage room. So, but I was going, I was on there and I was contracting. The doctor checked the monitor and I was contracting. And then she checked me and I was two to three centimeters. She said I was a good three centimeters after she like checked me good. And then she said, does it help to walk around? Which I wasn't having bad contractions. They didn't hurt at all. So I walked around for an hour and during the walking, I was having contractions to where I had to stop walking because they were hurting, but they weren't that bad. So, um... I kept walking, and then an hour later, I came back, and I sat, I laid in bed, and she came back, and she checked me, and I was four. So, she told me I was in active labor. So, um, I was in labor, or, I was four centimeters still, um, an hour later, but my water broke at five o'clock in the morning on, on October 10th. Um, my water broke, and... I had to, st I was still in the triage room, I had to stay in the triage room for two more hours, and at 7 o'clock I got an epidural because the contractions were unmanageable, they were horrible, I was like, they were horrible, <laughs> but um, and then at, I slept, after I got that I was out, like, that thing put me to sleep, the epidural, put me to sleep for three hours, three to four hours, and I woke up at 11 something, and, um, ten, the nurse was still in there, and then ten minutes later, I started feeling a lot of pressure. Like, a lot of pressure. So, she looked down, or she checked me, and I was not, I was eight centimeters. Which was, wow. I slept, like, through my whole labor. I only felt two hours of contractions. So, um, um, you think that I would remember. Um, oh, I changed, or 
I went from 8 to 10 centimeters in less than 10 minutes. Um, so I was 10 centimeters and I started to bear down, which was very, very bad. I was, just, it was painful for one. For two, he was coming and the doctor wasn't even at the hospital. She was, she went home. So they had to call the doctor and she was on her way and it took like 15 minutes for her to get to the thing. So I was in there bearing down, pressure, horrible, um, I saw the catheter in. They took the catheter out, and that actually helped with the contractions. And them taking it out, like it felt worse. But um, the f doctor finally got in there. She sprinted into the room. She was running. She had just got out of the shower, so her hair was soaking wet. She was pulling back her hair, putting on her scrubs and everything. Um, and then um, about two minutes later, I started to push. And the first two pushes, I screamed. Like, I screamed. They hurt. It hurt. Um, so, then the doctor stopped me. And she said, Lindsay, you need to focus. You need to calm down. If you don't focus, the baby's not going to come out soon. So, I was like, okay, okay, okay. So, I started to pull, push again. And I started to scream again. And my mom said, Lindsay, if you, you're you wasting a push if you scream. So, I've, after that, the fourth push, I didn't scream. I just grunted and bit my lip and he just came out he he forced himself out he was just shot out so um Brayden was born on 10 10 10 at 12 30 p.m and he was six pounds five ounces and he was 19 inches long so he was three weeks early um but here I have him right here he's very tiny here he is. <laughs> he has a little cute outfit on. But this is him. Oh, he's not awake. He's he's dead out. I just fed him. Um, so, but here he is. Sorry, my boobs. <laughs> there he is. He's actually smiling. Well, he has gas, but um, I'm not breastfeeding. I decided not to, which I kind of regret now because I have a lot. It, they my mail came in and it is horrible pain, very horrible pain. Um, that like this pain is probably almost last night. It was bad. Um, I cried because it was hurting so bad, and I have a high tolerance of pain. So labor is not easy, delivery is not easy, and Postpartum is not easy. <laughs> um, I didn't tear or get any, or I didn't get an episiotomy or a tear. But I did get an abrasion, which is a skid mark from his skin hitting mine. So, but it, after, well, after it, I didn't, I did pee. And it didn't hurt at all. Like, it didn't burn, like people say. The two days I was in the hospital, they kept me two days. <laughs> they kept me two days, um... And I, it didn't hurt, but then once I got home, I overdid it because I want to get this weight off. <laughs> so, um, I, uh, overdid it and I peed. And it burned like crazy. It was horrible. I had to grab onto the sink. So, it is excruciating to pee. <laughs> now, it's really swollen down there and it hurts and, um, my boobs are killing me. But, um, I can, or, I am managing well. I didn't, I wasn't sore the two days I was in the hospital. Now I'm getting sore. My, the epidural really, really hurt my back. And the, the doctor, the anesthesiologist said that I have very small spaces in between my spine. And when he gave me the numbing medicine, I kind of jumped. And I think he hit one of my bones or something with the, the needle or whatever. So, my back is really, really, really sore. I can't bend over for a very long time or I'll get stuck like that. So, um, but I got his crib up. It's like jungle theme. And then his rocking chair is in the back. And, um, I have his, you can't see it, his bouncy seat right there. And he's in love with it. That's what he sleeps in right now he actually slept really good the first night in his crib but the second night he didn't really sleep at all I got probably 45 minutes of sleep and then the third night or last night he um 
he was really good. Oh, he's waking up. He was really good. So, um, but this is... Are you going to open your eyes? <laughs> are you going to open your eyes? Doesn't look like it. He's very tired. Um, last night he slept through the whole night, except for one time he woke me up to eat, which was at like 5 o'clock in the morning, which really is in the morning. So he didn't, he slept all night. So he's been really, really, really good. Um, oh, he, he got his eyes open. Say hi. This looks like I'm choking him, I'm not even holding him. Hi. <laughs> but, um, that's him, and now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put him down. And I'm gonna show you my stomach. This is one week, well, Sunday will be one week, but this is con it's Friday, so one week postpartum. And I've gone down a lot, so thank goodness. Which is surprising because I'm not breastfeeding, so. Put him down. He's probably going to cry because he doesn't like how he's sitting. <laughs> oh, no, he's going back to sleep. Never mind. He made me look like a liar. Okay, but my boobs look big, but my stomach isn't. This is with the shirt on. The front. And then this is with my shirt off. Which is, it looks so much better in person. It's actually bigger than what it is on camera. No, in person. <laughs> I look big. But I'm not. But only one week anyways. I only gave birth five days ago. <laughs> so, I'm doing good so far. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys that I did have him on 10-10-10. He was due Halloween. Um, he has O negative blood. He is very rare. He's a very rare baby. So, baby. Not baby. Baby. <laughs> so, um, but that's it. So, I'll keep you... I didn't tape anything of my delivery. I'm sorry. I couldn't. It went so fast. My mom even went home. She had to come back. Jared slept in the um, labor and delivery room. My mom went home to sleep. Because she had been at the hospital all night with me, too. So, um... She had to come back when I told her I was having pressure, so, yeah. But I had him on 10, 10, 10 at 12.30. So, he's a tiny baby, but he's a really good baby. He's really content. And I haven't taped any of his first week, but I'm going to be starting to tape him. Um, I'm going to tape him on his third week, so he's more older and there's more things that are happening. Because I don't want it to be boring, so, um... That's pretty much it. So, I'll see you for um, my next update, which is going to be one month postpartum. So, that'll probably be in November, and I'm going to be almost 16. November 12th, I'll be 16. So, um, that's it. Uh, so, I'll see you in three weeks. Bye.